Fight fans in attendance, welcome to Lion Fighting Championships 25. The fight is already, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for combat? First, a bantamweight matchup in the amateur division. Muay Thai over three two-minute rounds. Please welcome into the blue corner from Ultimate Athlete, Ibrahim Iqbal. And please welcome his opponent in the red corner, fighting out of SN Combat Academy, Anna Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for war! So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our first fight of the evening is uh, Ibrahim Iqbal versus Anas Khan. Anas in the red corner. Beautiful teep. Puts his opponent, uh, opponent across the cage. Beautifully placed teep there. He's trying to control the distance. Did a good job of powering it away as well. Return fire from knees here, Rob. Yeah, there's good knees in the mid up the middle. Big ball going to the body here though as well with the punches. Trying to mix it up. Good work. And that's with a good knee as they parted company straight down the middle. Trying to catch the solar plexes. Nice tape from his opponent. Khan doing a good job of firing that lead leg kick though. And whipping the rear in there. He's trying to disengage Iqbal from coming forward with power. Iqbal looking for that body shot on the left. Good work with the legs from Khan. Oh, beautiful. Solid body kick there from Iqbal. Hands low though at this point, so if Khan can start to time those overhand rights, he could have some success there. Nice kick, beautiful knee. Good exchange again. The nice kick. Seem to glance the Jorah Khan. Didn't like that too much. 
great knee again. Iqbal really finding a home for those knees when they get in tight. Oh, beautiful catch there from Khan. Just kicks on the bell. Very good first round. Great pace. For me, Khan showing great legs, using them very well. And on the opposite side, you had Iqbal finding a home for that left hook, trying to just plant it on the liver. Both these fighters taking advice from their corner men. And it's great to see young talent like this in the world of Muay Thai. Of course, British fighters like Jonathan Haggerty making it a very popular sport. Yeah, important for the platform as well for them to come and refine their skills in front of a crowd, you know, both these athletes, amateur, Muay Thai, at bantamweight, and it just really allows them to get that experience in the cage, Rob. Yeah, it's a great platform, as you said. Great way to learn. To the teep again. Beautiful. Beautiful teep. Done an awesome job of disengaging that forward pressure. It's Khan. Khan light on his feet. Could have gone a little bit low, that one. Yeah, Khan. I think it was uh, an accidental. They both seemed to throw at the same time. And I love the traditional. Thai music as well and if you've ever been to Thailand usually the music starts slower in the earlier rounds and the music starts to build as the fight does but over here in the UK it just seems like they go hell for leather <laughs> there's only one pace nicely done tries again misses catches a big knee fighting through that plum clinch but with nice forward pressure here, mixing up the shots, catches the kick beautifully, fires the knee down the centre line. Yeah, it's good. It's good work by both these fighters. They're both showing fantastic counter striking ability, as well as aggressive. Good to see. Love that knee as he comes forward, Iqbal. He's getting caught again with that teep. Got to start to think about catching it or powering it to the outside, then coming forward with the knee. Again, that left to the body. Beautifully thrown shot. So we've got to see Khan take a little step back here to, to engage those teeps. He's got to maintain that mid-distance. When he's close range, we see the body shots being landed from Iqbal and, and indeed the knees. That's what he needs more of, Rob, more of those teeps. Iqbal coming forward, keeps driving. The great second round. Both these fighters having their moment. For me, Iqbal really pushing the pace, forcing Khan onto the back foot. Now you can see Iqbal in the corner at the moment. He's taking some real deep breaths. He seems to be more labored than uh, Khan in the red corner, but uh, could come down to the decisive shots here in this next round. But like I said, it's been a fast pace, and how long can these athletes keep that up? The well, last round here, Iqbal in the blue and Khan in the red. So far we've seen real successful forward pressure from Iqbal and lovely teeps from Khan. Iqbal now pushing the pace. Great inside kick, beautiful time teep. It was just a clip as Iqbal went through the air. There was a low blow there just before he teeped him. So again, Khan taking a little bit of a moment to regain his uh, composure. Amateur Muay Thai athletes getting this experience here. 
No headshots allowed under the rule set. So he's seen a lot of leg kicks, teeps, body shots, knees to the body as well. Wonderful clinch there from Iqbal. Reaches out, gets the leg caught. Iqbal trying to close the distance, looking to get those knees fired off. Beautiful trade. Great exchange. Those body shots are starting to wear now on Khan. See if Iqbal starts to try and channel that teeth and the right hands and the left hand that he's had success with to that body. You can see the reddening on the, on the left side of the body there of Khan. Ooh, beautiful one too. Again, some barrage of punches from Khan. Trying to even the scorecards. Big knees again from Iqbal. Khan bounces against the cage. See him breathing heavy. Iqbal still pushing. Khan with the leg catch. Didn't quite get the sweep. Both fighters breathing heavy. Extreme pace from the outset. We head towards the end of the round. Both breathe deep. Beautiful oh. knees again from Iqbal. Barrage of knees from Iqbal. Really doing some damage. Khan takes a back step. Iqbal comes in with the low kick, misses. And there we are. Three rounds of pure action to open the event here at Lion Fighting Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, after a hard fought fight, we go to a split decision victory. For your winner, via split decision, in the red corner, Anna Scott.